This is Singapore, one of the most important business hubs in Asia. The country has grown rapidly since gaining independence in 1963 and has been the venue for the HSBC Women's Champions for the last five years. HSBC recently announced a three-year extension of their support for the event, which has the most challenging criteria for qualification. Players must have won an LPGA tournament or finished in the Rolex rankings top 20 in the year before. It's uh, the most prestigious or one of the most prestigious tournaments we have all year because, like you say, you know, it's a champions event, so you really want to qualify for that event. It's a very limited field and it's really only the best players in the world, so it's a privilege to play. I always waiting for the, that tournament because um, the the sponsor great support for the tournament and then when I'm playing I really feels like I'm really comfortable and I really enjoy it. You know, it rewards uh, a good year from the year previous and uh, to me it's a great start to the year. Um, HSBC's hospitality is fantastic and I think the caddy party on the Friday night always gets everyone going. You know, I think any time you can get the best players in the world together to play, um, it's going to be a great tournament. So, um, again, HSBC does a wonderful job and they put on a great event. Asia's major, as it's become known, was first played in 2008 and the event's success has since encouraged the LPGA to base more events on the continent. Many of the best players in the world are now from this region. They've got an enormous opportunity, which they have seized, of taking the game and creating events in the Asian region. Or well, we hope we are we are thought of as one of the catalysts for that growth. As we see new tournaments uh, emerge in Thailand, in China, in Korea, etc. But we brought the, the, the women's champions into Singapore all those years ago, and here we are. It's still going strong. The players are, are magnificent. We've I think never not had anything worse than the top 48 out of 50 in the world play at our event, which is a testament to women's golf and what a wonderfully international event it is. So we've been delighted with it. The stunning Tanamera Garden Course was chosen as the venue for that inaugural event. And it was the then world number one Lorena Ochoa who claimed an incredible career best 11 stroke victory. Despite three breaks in play due to tropical showers, the Mexicans' flawless play brought the champion of champions title. Since then, the event has gone from strength to strength, with some of the biggest names in the game dominating the role of honor. In 2009, G.A. Shin came from behind to win. And in 2010, Ai Miyazato emerged triumphant from a thriller of the last day, completing the rare feat of winning the LPGA's two opening events of the year. Twelve months later, LPGA Tour legend Kari Webb demonstrated her class, and she won by a single shot. It was the Australian's 51st title. This year's edition came down to a battle between American Angela Stanford and South Korea's Jenny Shin, who'd seen off the other two players in a four-way playoff. Shin was first to fold with a missed par putt. So that left Stanford with this for the HSBC Women's Champions title. There was a wobble, but it went in. The American enjoying her fifth win on the LPGA Tour. The tournament has gone from strength to strength in the past five years, and this new sponsorship deal surely guarantees similar drama until 2015. It's an event which brings out the best in the players. I mean, that was a great tournament, and like all the players love to play in Singapore. And I think that was a great event, and I'm very happy I can go back to Singapore like next three years. Yeah, it's really good event for the starting of the year. Uh, three more years, we can I can have good food in Singapore, so I'm very happy. <laughs> Everybody's so friendly. Um, it has kind of a, a modern feel to it, um, but also very Western in some respects. So. Uh, Everybody knows I love Singapore and um, HSBC does a great job and um, it's, it's a world-class event and we love being there and um, always look forward to it. The tournament has become a fabulous showcase for women's golf and it's become a platform for the best talent in the world. 
the way golf will continue to grow in, in, in that part of or southern, southern Asia, I guess, is the continued development of the players because they become the heroes. But what's really exciting about women's golf is the, 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 the champions are getting younger and younger and you're never quite sure any, on any particular calendar year who the, the next star is going to be. You can judge the success by the galleries and they've grown every year. The TV exposure is wonderful, particularly in countries like Japan and Korea where it does so much for the sport and long may it continue. And so Singapore prepares for the 2013 HSBC Women's Champions. It's hard to predict who'll win the next edition, but what we can say with confidence is that there'll be top-class golf on offer, with this trophy one of the most coveted in the game.